Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tuna. So a lot of people have been asking me how I get so many wisps every run and basically the things I do to min max my wisps count in general. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am running high pack size maps. So generally eight modifier maps that have, you know, higher pack size than normal maps in combination with wandering path. So there's going to be a ton of monsters downstairs. And in the downstairs, of course, monsters are actually the ones that give you the most wisp count comparison to following wisp trails which is something that like a lot of people tend to you know not think about because really what you're trying to do is you're trying to find those events and those events have monsters and those monsters give you a ton of wisps so essentially your play style is going to be based around looking for these events uh you know where there's like a congregation of monsters and then looking for these wisps that you can see here at the top right of the screen that are gonna extend the amount of time that you can stay in the downstairs. So essentially, as soon as you see one of those, what you should be doing is you should be lining to it. Uh, if you spot it, definitely want that because what that does is that that is gonna enable you to stay in for longer. Staying in for longer, of course, is how you get those crazy chains where you get upwards of like three to you know eight thousand, even ten thousand sometimes if you're absolutely insanely lucky. So that would be the case where you know you find multiple of those and you find multiple events and you get like maybe like 8k plus which is crazy right but that is the first step to of course finding and staying in for longer finding those wisps and then chasing the trails to find events that would be step two so, so from here you can see that i am just chasing the trails and it's going to be split in multiple ways and we find an event and this is a pretty good one you can see that that one wisp gave us like 1200 the number at the bottom right of the screen right here so yeah that gave us 1200 which is pretty good and we're going to be picking up all of the other ones as you know as we can we don't want to be wasting our um little darkness reveal thing as much as possible because we know that there's going to be additional wisps uh if i rewind it here a little bit there's going to be wisps that are hidden in the darkness there however once once we are kicked out so like once the portal um pops up we can actually go back and pick up everything that is on the sides that we missed that is not like a trail going into a specific direction so we can kind of see already that this isn't like a path that we want to take however it's just additional wisps that we can grab um after the portal has appeared so from here i will sort of try to find a new path and um yeah and i'll come back for those a little later right so yeah we want to be looking for a new path and there are these other wisps as well which we don't really want to be getting baited by these because these ones all they do is they reveal an area and we don't really want to be revealing an area we want to grab those wisps that are um you know, rather that are topping up our fuel in for longer and yeah so at this point i would not path to that i would just sort of look for more monsters as the monsters tend to always lead you in the direction of um of events right I will essentially just not want to be wasting my uh, fuel, look around for a new trail from this event, and we can see that there is, you know, a trail leading upwards, and we can um, accidentally click that altar and <laughs> move on to another trail. So I will move upwards, and I will see sort of like shimmy left and right and see that this trail is leading downwards. However, it feels like this run is already kind of at the end, we are not finding much else so yeah we will just follow this trail and get as much as we can and kill as many monsters as possible as i previously mentioned the monsters are actually what give you a ton of the juice we'll kill this pack and we'll get an additional like 300 or so while we're looking for more wisps to kill or to pick up i mean sorry and um yeah that pretty much is uh what you'll do under most situations right so looking for events looking uh following the trails and in general you know getting a little bit upset once you find vendors so you can see here that i've been kicked out and at this situation what i will do is uh, i will go around and i will try to find wisps that i've left off like uh out on the side so i'll pick up a few here you know we are down bad for wisps as uh, we want to be getting our maps as juicy as possible right i will path back i'll pick up as much as possible you of course don't want to waste too much time as time is um, ruin your efficiency but yeah if you if you if you know that you've left a little bit of the wisp at the back then you just go back and you pick them up as i previously mentioned i knew that i left some around here so i would just go back and pick them up but that is generally uh, the main things that you're looking for however what do you do in situations where you spawn in and there is no wisp trails 
So if there's no wisp trails around you, this is guaranteed that you have an event nearby. So by event, I mean like, um, you know, like the strongbox event or basically like a monster kill event and all that kind of stuff. But at this point, what you want to do is you want to be basically, um, you know, wiggling around to find where monsters are coming from. And the monsters have like a pretty big aggro range. They do aggro from outside of darkness. So yeah, basically you want to wiggle around and try to aggro monsters. The monsters will generally indicate in which direction you need to go. This is really important because a lot of people tend to be lost and they just like run around in circles and they waste their 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 juice this is going to make a lot more maps uh viable to run or just going to have so much more higher base count of wisps we're going to say wisps a few more times this video so get ready for it i saw that the monsters were coming from the top right so i will kind of chase that lead a little bit and you can see that i've chased that lead a little bit and i instantly see trails and that's very good that's a very good sign trails always lead to either an event or a vendor we found the trails and we find more monsters and look how much wisp count we're getting just from killing those monsters you know we are already uh pretty well on our way to getting a, a ton of juice this map yeah i will try to find in the direction that i want to go and i'm look, looking for more monsters you know where are the monsters leading and here we go we find an event and that is always going to be the case in situations where you don't have any wisps around you going to be follow the monsters find the trails kill the event and you can see here that we are already at 3000 basically and we have basically not used any of our fuel so far at this point what you want to do is you want to go back and you want to find a trail that leads you to another event and you want to be chaining these events or finding the wisp that uh you know pops you up as i previously mentioned but i see a lot of people that are just basically sprinting it into the darkness uh, you know not thinking too much about where they're going you definitely want to be efficient with your pathing and in this situation we found um we found a vendor we do not like finding vendors you know of course like yeah they can have some pretty good charms but nine times out of ten even more than that like 90 times out of ten, uh out of 99 times out of 100 they're gonna have bad charms and those are yeah a big downer so what you'll do here is you'll basically just pick up the wisp that uh, they have on the top side and on the bottom side but you want to be looking for a new trail and the unfortunate thing is that the vendors actually often they kill your trail so there'll be a situation where you're just stuck at a vendor you don't know where to go and the only thing you can do is kind of like backtrack here and try to find the new trail so yeah in my situation i backtracked and i found a yellow trail to follow now we'll look around it, this this is already a pretty good run as you can see you know i am sitting on six thousand, and it's going to be a pretty decent map and we have uh the sun and the moon orbiting us as well so that's pretty cool three mtx and yeah i will just go back and you know slurp up all the remaining wisp that i can get as this is going to be a pretty good map and i definitely don't want to waste it so this would be uh, example number two where you don't find anything around your character go to example number three Example number three, you can see that I instantly know that there is wisps here on the bottom right, as you can see that they're trailing towards my character. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty easy. I will just go straight for it, right? And then the path gets a little bit weird, but we see monsters coming towards us. And the monsters generally are always going to tell us in which direction we want to path, since uh, monsters not only give us the most amount of wisps, but they also generally tend to uh, lead us towards events as well. Most situations, you know, they're just kind of like chilling around. So it's it's not always going to lead you to an event. But yeah, then you kind of like walk around and look for additional wisp trails, additional monsters. And I will, it'll be sort of like random how I move. But, you know, I will like look up a little bit and it's like, oh, is there more wisps here? And like, is it a, a big congregation of them or whatever? And I will go into that direction and follow the trails as much as possible. And as you can see here, there's like a lot of monsters that are chasing me and there's a lot of wisp trails too. And again, we found the vendor, but this could have been, you know, an event or something like that. But essentially, that is the play style and how you are able to get as much juice as possible in these maps. And there's various events that I could, there's more events that I could show for, uh, to you guys, but that is the TLDR of how I get a lot of, um, a lot of juice here. So yeah, I'll basically show one more and commentate on it too. So again, this is one of those times where I spawn in and there's nothing around me and most people would just basically start running in random directions. But what I do is I just like 
click the floor a little bit and I see monsters instantly trail towards me. So it's like, okay, I, I see monsters coming towards me. That means that I want to be following that direction. So just to sort of prove the point of um, there always being an event in this situation. I'll path down and I don't see any monsters coming towards me. I path up and I don't see anything either. But then I instantly see a trail and I go here and there's a big event and we go from having 600 juice having uh, at the end of it like uh, we're already like at 3000 or so right and on top of that as well we got pretty lucky because we found another little um, fuel station wisp so that's pretty cool so we picked that up and yeah now we're at 3000 and the the goal will be to find another wisp trail which we do we see one here so we're gonna pass down towards where that takes us see that we are getting mixed trails the so mixed trails guarantees that you are find going towards a vendor mixed trail means you're finding a vendor and it's generally bad news but at this point you are kind of like already invested into going down this path meaning you can't really back out at the, of, of it at this point you gotta ch you gotta keep chasing it and keep looking for um you know, where this leads so i'm kind of like not not too happy by seeing uh, trails but keep chasing it and i'll keep picking up as much wisps as possible and killing as many monsters as possible in the process and yep we did end up finding a one so kind of as predicted but yeah and then we'll just walk around try to find another trail kill more mobs and pick up as much as possible and this is about like where like we're completely out of juice so we'll get kicked out very soon uh that, pre that pretty much sums it all up that's how i managed to get consistently a ton of uh of wisps every run we already have like 6k here so that's pretty good that's gonna be like a pretty nice map with 6k and of course we got lucky because we found one of those wisps that tops us up but yeah we got like 6k and now we walk around and we try to see if there's like any more mobs in the darkness that we can aggro as well as catching some more of those wisp trails to you know top us up but at this point you could just basically like teleport out and be on your way and just like farm your map right so that pretty much sums it up i hope this was helpful and um i hope you guys have learned a little bit and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye, everyone.